Hello everyone, and welcome to a game called Oxygen. Uh, this is a demo for Oxygen, and I think it's a uh, visual novel, I'm not sure. Maybe not. One day, I heard a noise, as if something was calling me. The noise pointed directly at my heart. And like an illness, it took control of my entire being. Prologue. Embryo. Unable to find the desire to live, looking at a sinking city, deep into an abyss with no future, I struggle to find oxygen. Yes. I love the visuals. Already. I wake up in a strange vision. I'm still in my apartment. Safe. Alone. I find it hard to breathe. The air in my lungs has vanished, but after a while, everything calms down. Eventually, it goes back to normal. My mind is fuzzy, though, and my throat is completely dry. Drink some water. Oh? Okay, that's an option. I take a few sips from the bottle next to my bed. But with each one, I feel a faint wave of nausea rising from my stomach. Since my body is still sore, I try to take one more sip. The nausea only increases, forcing me to stop. Bothered by this sensation, I decide to get up. When things get too rough, I call him. It depends on what uh, the realization crashes down on when the realization crashes down on me. After all, I can only feel at ease by talking to him. Hi, am I bothering you? I always answer your calls with pleasure. I'm happy to hear that. What's happening? I had a nightmare. The usual one. I see. Have you tried to explore it more? Why should I do that? So that you can understand it better. And maybe you'll understand yourself better too. I don't know. It scares me too much. I think it, it's to be expected. You should probably need more time. How are you feeling though? My head has been hurting since I had that dream. It feels like it's etched on my mind. This day has started awfully. Don't think about it too much. I'm here for you. Just go over your day. Don't be afraid. Easy for you to say. Ah, sorry. I didn't want to be rude to you. I'm just tired, that's all. Don't worry, I understand that. Well, I should really get ready now. Chapter 1, Deep Burial I saw a metal lark flying. I envied its freedom and desired to crash it between my fingers. Now I observe it trapped inside a cage in my balcony, and I cannot read the rest because it was too fast. As I look at myself in the mirror, I notice that something had slightly changed. It's a small detail, almost impossible to perceive. But today, I'm paler than usual. My skull is crumbling. My nerves are melting. My spirit is sinking. Again, I still have to work. Every day, it's like that, at a job like this. Sometimes it seems everything has to be deprived of purpose. This city, the entire world, are similar to an empty glass. Sooner or later, everything will be submerged. When we'll reach the point of no return, Water will swallow everything. It will erase all of us. All these buildings we live in, all the stuff we surround ourselves with, 
will be engulfed. Maybe we still have time to fix things, and that will be the end. Oh, this is an option too. Do I have any way to save things? Oh. I don't think so. Oh, screenshots. Connect screenshots. But you can't save. And that will be the end. How can I be hopeful and positive? How can I believe that things will change? The world that surrounds me, it's humanity. It's nothing more than a savage and selfish single being. All these people, their houses, their belongings will one day disappear. And I too will reach the same ending. We have been committing a mass suicide by our own choice. It's been going on for years, so why should we stop it now? In virtue of what should humans abandon their sinking in virtue of what human should humans abandon their sinking progress? What is this question? I don't understand it. As I envision cities abandoned deep in the dark abyss, my head explodes, my heart stops, breathing becomes a struggle. I could throw up by any minute, yet I am still here in the office. I have to keep working, and after that, get lunch with a colleague, forced to swallow all, that, all the fears that trouble me. Every day I spend my lunch break at the same table with the same person. We've started working here the same day. We've known each other ever since. Hey girl, how was work this morning? Just fine. I finished checking some paperwork. What about you? Great, nice job. Same for me. I've been on paperwork all week, but thank god it's almost over. I just feel great at the idea of working in the office again, you know? Staying at home with my nosy husband was a pain. Plus, I missed you a lot. How have you been? Yeah, I can imagine. I've been alright, I guess. Some things happen, but nothing worth talking about. What about you? Nosy husband apart, I mean? I feel like I'm rejuvenated. I still feel strange and unusual, but working together again, seeing people we love, it's really great. The skin on my hands started peeling because of the sanitizers, you know? I wonder what they put in those things. Yes, it is. But, what is it? I understand what you mean, but I feel awful. Why? Does something bad happen? Not really. Still, I can't help but think about the people who have lost their jobs or their loved ones. The homeless people that I see in every street I pass through. Or the sadness and loneliness on everyone's faces. That doesn't mean we can't be cheerful about our own daily life, does it? What matters is that we're safe and happy. We can't do much about others. I know. I'm just scared of the repercussions, that's all. Look, I do understand it. However, let's just talk about something else, okay? Yeah, we should. Listen, there has been some... Something on my mind lately. I don't really know how to say this. Um, are you going to do something about those bags under your eyes? I mean, I'm sorry to bring it up, but they kind of scare er, the clients. They scare the clients? What do you mean? I heard that some people lately are frightened by your appearance. They say you're creeping in them out. 
It's just rumors, but maybe you should ta take it as advice. It's none of your business, isn't it? Oh. Well, I was just looking out for you. There's no need to get upset. I'm just worried about your health. If you don't take care of yourself, you might collapse during work. That would be a problem, don't you think? You should really drink more often. I've never seen you with a glass of water. And you should definitely get more sleep. We'll see. Thank you for worrying about me. You look kind of sad lately. What is it? I've been having strange dreams. Strange dreams? What are they about? The end of everything. Cities flooded by water. Human extinction. Um, that definitely is not good. I read somewhere that dehydration can make you hallucinate, so drink more. Alright. By the way, have you heard the news? What news? Starting from next week, I'll become the management director. I'm so excited. Oh, that's wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, ever since I graduated, I've been hoping to find a good job. And to live a nice and happy life. Without anyone's help. I really hope that one day, you will succeed too. I'm not sure if I'm suited for that. Are you for real? Everyone is suited for a promotion. You should work to seek happiness and independence. This job can't bring me real happiness. I disagree. I think it can. Look at me. I'm satisfied with myself. Proud of all the things I've achieved. Of my client and smiling faces. That's all thanks to me and the work I've done. And what about uh, that intern who jumped off the flip floor? Your experience is yours alone. I don't think ain't that only focusing on our job will bring us happiness. We all will get older and die. Eventually the world will end. So what is the meaning of all of this? Being this obsessed about work won't take us anywhere. I think you just lack ambition. And I'm sorry to say this, but you won't get too far without it. In this time and age, ambition is all that we have left. Without it, we're nothing. You're obviously scared, I understand that. But you can't fall victim to your fears. So. Okay, fish man. I was I wasn't gonna react to it. I just uh, that's a twist. I look into her, her empty, slimy eyes and can't help but wonder if she really believes in what she is saying. Not falling victim to fear, working to become happy. Those are all perfect and idealistic words told by someone who doesn't understand my suffering. But if one day, everything will be submerged, then she will too. Suddenly the scenes of my dreams started to play in my head. Something is moving from my stomach, pushing work, working its way into my esophagus. I rushed to the bathroom and I let out everything. Hey, how are you today? Terrible. I feel sicker than before. Hmm. Sometimes we have to navigate our pain in order to become happier. By saying this, I don't mean that it's alright for you to suffer. 
but only that it may be a part of the process. Yeah, but where or will that get me? You want to get rid of the dream, right? You're terrified of it. That's why you react so strongly. Why you're, why you're so angry, angry, and why you feel the need to expose your view of the world. We all need to freely express ourselves, to be more sincere with ourselves and others. That's what you are doing. Maybe the dream itself is pushing you towards this path. So, can you really say it's a bad dream? Are the things you see in your sleep so evil? I want you to focus on that and understand that you think what you think and feel about it. Don't take these feelings for granted and explore them as much as you can. I'll think about it. Thanks for your advice, as always. I'll try to go oh, to sleep now. Have a good night. Remember, I'm always here for you. Who's talking to me? Who is him? I doubt it's Powerpuff Girls him. I'm still so pale. Should I really get Ev into my dreams? Sure, why not? What's the worst I can have? Thank you for playing this demo. We will release more about Oxygen during this month. Uh, hell yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go back and see if I can get any other answers to any of these questions. Chapter. Oh, and understand the truth of something! Ah! My in incessant clicking has got me... Uh, clicking through everything. Maybe we still have time to fix things. Sometimes I force myself to be hopeful. I try with all my strength to repress my fears. Go on through my day without thinking. If I stop thinking and feeling, everything will be alright. I'll just become like any other person. But most of the time, it's just too much. Negativity takes control of me, and it gets more and more difficult to resist. Everything gets blurred out, and I try to resist as hard as I can until my soul is crushed. But as time goes on, this gets more and more difficult, and as I envision cities abandoned deep in the dark abyss, my heart explodes. My head explodes, I mean, my heart stops. Breathing becomes a struggle. I could throw up by any minute. Yet I am still here in the office. I have to keep working. And after that, get lunch. And swallow all the fears that trouble me. What do you think I should do? Firstly, you need to sleep more. You look like you haven't hit the sack in weeks. I have the impression you could pass out by any minute. Are you feeling alright? Here, have a glass of water. You never drink anything at lunch. I can't drink water. You're right, maybe I should. Oh, no. What? What do you mean by that? Of course you can. I can't because of the dream. What are, you, are you kidding me? Is this your shot at making jokes? Let me tell you, it's not working. Seriously, try to take more care of yourself. I can't stand seeing you like this. By the way... I don't know if I deserve to be happy. How could do you think something like that? Everyone deserves it. I think that surviving is enough for me. I don't need more than that. And I don't want more than that. I don't want to take risk or aim too high. I just want to live quietly. Otherwise, I'll be surrounded by my phobias. 
I really don't understand why you always act this way. Look at you. You are a brilliant, beautiful girl. Stop bringing yourself down and live a little. That's just what I think. How I feel. I know myself, so I know what I'm talking about. I think you, you will just lack ambition. I wonder if this conversation will be- Ah, fuck me. I should have known he would have said something different! Oh, shit! There's something wrong with my eyes. What's happening to me? So, in order to stay somewhat normal, you have to stay sunk in your misery? Ooh, if I drink the water? Ooh, okay. Hold on. I'm gonna go another route. Mm. You're right, maybe I should. Yes, definitely. Otherwise, your health might be seriously affected. After all, you need to sleep and keep hydrated to work properly. Yes, that's true. By the way, have you heard the news? Oh, that was easy. It went over really simply. Okay, I'm gonna read what he says, because I took a positive route. Hey, terrible. I feel sicker than before. You've been obsessing over that dream, haven't you? Yes, how did you know that? Well, I know you. But don't worry. It's okay to think about it. You don't really have to fear it, you know? What do you mean? You keep asking yourself, what if everything will be submerged? What if we all end up underwater? Deep down, you know that humanity will disappear in the darkness of the abyss. But is that a bad thing? Is it really a negative end? Maybe. Maybe you can learn earn something from that. So just try to give in. Take that route. It's a part of you. You keep forcing yourself to avoid it, but sometimes we must overcome our fears. Otherwise, we'll we be prisoners. And why should you live in a cage and repress the best parts of yourself? I'll think about it. Thanks for your advice, as always. I'll try to go to sleep now. Have a good night. Remember, I'm always here for you. Alright, we're gonna see if anything changes. Nope, it's just the eyes. Alright. That's it. Uh, uh, go support the game developer. I will leave a link to their stuff in the description below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.